premature battle. We have to be yellow flag on the side. So, first give him glory and honor to God. Yes, yes. And Pastor Tiffany. Yes. Ministers in the pool pit. Men's Day co-chair. Officers. Yes. Members and visiting friends. I'm humbled and grateful for this opportunity to be chosen as mandate speaker this year. Praise the Lord. At this moment, I ask that you pray for and with me. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning with bowed heads and humble hearts. Yes, Lord. Just to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being forgiving God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Father God, I ask that you bless each and every one of us to not only be hearers of your holy word, but also faithful doers. Amen. Say that. Say that. Please use me as your servant. Oh, yeah. And help me to deliver this message according to your will. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Touch, Lord. Father God, we ask these blessings in Jesus' presence. In holy name. Amen. 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 I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my wife, my children, and all of you for your prayers and support. Amen. Amen. Our 2018 mandate theme is perseverance. perseverance. Christian men steadfast in his word. The scriptures are James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4 and 12. And it reads, My brother, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about perseverance. As we think of the word perseverance, we think about persistence, tenacity, and determination. Yeah. In Romans 5, verse 3, it says, and not only that, but we also glory in tribulations knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Now there are two very distinct views on the issue of perseverance of the saints among Christians. The first is that it is possible for true Christians to turn away from God and not persevere. The second view is man's free will. God gave man free will when he created him. Amen. But if it's man's free will is to reject God, then he shall surely lose his salvation. Amen. However, the Bible teaches us that we are born again by the Holy Spirit. And James warned us to be doers of the word and not hearers. Say that. Say that. Because those who hear but do not but do not are deceiving themselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, it is like a man observing his natural face in the mirror. Okay, let's talk about Christians. Christians are faithful people. Christians are also loved by God. The word Christian, as we understand it, refers to anyone, man, woman or child who trusts in Jesus Christ. So my understanding of a Christian man is anyone who commits to following God's word. One of the questions that men ask, often ask is, how do I become a godly man? So if you don't mind, I'd like to share five characteristics of a godly man. Number one, Step up, lead, initiate, be a man of action. Assume it is your job and your moment. Hate empathy, reject passivity. All right now. Cause like David in 2 Samuel 
when he heard of it, he sent Joab and all the army, the mighty men, and he told them to be strong and let us show ourselves courageous for the sake of our people and for the cities of our God and may the Lord do what is in his sight. Amen. Now in Ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 says, I search for a man among them who will build up the wall and stand in the gap before me for the land so that, so that, so that I would not destroy it but I found no one. Number two says, speak out. Silence in the midst of sin is a sin. Be courageous. Fear God, not man. All right. Amen. Speak Amen. the truth in love. For Proverbs 27 states that better is open rebirth, rebuke than love that is concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. And Proverbs, Proverbs 31 tells us to open your mouth Amen. for the mute and for the rights of all the unfortunate. Yeah. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the afflicted and needy. First Peter chapter 3 states, But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to anyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you. Yet for gentleness and reverence. Now number three states, stand strong. Don't give in when you are challenged, attacked, or criticized. Remember Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 states, Now behold, I have made you today as a fortified city and as a pillar of iron and as the walls of bronze against the whole land to the kings of Judah, to his princes, to his priests and to the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they will not overcome you. For I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, Knowing that your toil is not in vain in the law. Amen. Also, Peter chapter 5, 8 through 9 says, Be of soul spirit. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, proud.